wiring problems. Yeah, coming up. Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. I uh, just wanted to drop a video very quickly. I'm in the process of working out bugs on the F100, getting it ready to where it's totally ready uh, for my wife to drive. Now, one of the issues I've been having with it is, is I did install a backup camera at my wife's request on this particular car. And one of the early things we noticed on it is, is whenever you hit the brakes, no matter what gear you were in, the camera on the uh, mirror the display would come on intermittently. Couldn't figure out what was going on with that. Uh, last night, my wife decided she wanted to drive it somewhere. And previously, I've checked all the uh, lights and everything as best I could, and everything seemed to be working fine. But I noticed as she was pulling out of the driveway last night, she had her headlights on. She hit her brakes, and the right tail light, this one right here, was having an issue where the left tail light was working perfectly. The right tail light with the headlights on when she hit the brake would dim and the backup light would come on. Very strange problem. So I did some troubleshooting this morning and let me show you what I found yeah. out. As you can tell here, I've got some cleanup work to do because I've been pulling wires out of this thing and running wires, just doing some, some dirty checks and everything. That is the tail light right there. When the headlights were on, the, and you hit the brakes, the lights would dim, and of course the backup camera would intermittently come on as well. Something very, very strange. Well, when I saw this last night on the taillight, my first thought was grounding issue. So I've been running some checks. First of all, first thing I did was disconnect the uh, camera. I disconnect the hot going to the lead on the backup lights uh, just to see if the camera was the issue. That was not the issue. What I discovered was these taillights right here now everything I've done here is very crude and I've got some cleanup work to do and I'm going to do it right so I don't want you to be judging me on that. But what I found out about this is there's three leads going to this. There's a hot lead going to the bulb for the backup light and of course there's two leads. One for the parking slash headlights and one for the signal slash brake lights. The way these ground is they ground from the connection, the hard connection bolting to the tail light mount to the bed. Well as you can see I have these powder coated so what I did is I ground the connection here and I ran a temporary ground to a hard ground underneath the truck that I know was right. Problem solved. I've always gone by when doing electrical wiring is, is if you have bizarre problems like this that don't seem to make any logical sense, check grounds first. Now I've been chasing this uh, mirror issue, the uh, issue with the backup camera for quite some time. This is the first time I've ever installed one of those so I wasn't 100% sure I was doing it correctly because let's face it, the instructions to the uh, system that I bought was uh, Chinese translated into Japanese translated into American so the instructions were horrible. And I did a lot of guesswork trying to hook that up. So when I saw the camera issue on that, I've been chasing issues with the camera. It wasn't until last night when I was watching my wife leave that I noticed there was an issue with the right tail light. The way it was acting was very bizarre. My first thought was ground. I started chasing grounds. Finally found the one that was the issue. It was the right tail light ground. Everything's working perfectly now. Be patient when you're doing electrical issues. Have a system in your head how you want to follow it go down the list and troubleshoot the problem until you find it. The important thing is to not get frustrated and understand the issue. Like I said, normally, not always, of course, there's no absolutes, but normally when you're having really, really weird problems like this, the first thing you gotta check is your grounds. And uh, of course, with that issue that I spotted last night on this tail light, that's where I started. I discovered how that tail light grounded, ran a hard ground that I knew was good, fixed the problem immediately. Thanks for joining me today. Be sure and check back with me. Got more stuff upcoming.